Hi guys and welcome again. Today we are looking at A-level chemistry and we're doing some electrophilic addition. Now what I want to do is look at electrophilic addition where you've got a polar molecule, which means I have a molecule which has a positive and a negative side. So when you were doing your GCSEs, um, you simply needed to learn this addition reaction uh, that I've got here, which is your ethene, which is an unsaturated molecule. So like a sponge, it can take more water. So this can take more atoms, um, this molecule. Uh, when you break the double bond, so the double bond is what tells you that it's unsaturated. And then the HBr joins on and it becomes uh, this um, bromo uh, uh, ethane. So now what I want to do is when we do A-levels, we now have to know the mechanism. So what is actually happening? So let's draw the uh, ethane quickly. Okay, and then HBr is a polar molecule, meaning it's got a H and a Br, which have poles. And so we know our hydrogen is positive and our bromine is negative. Okay, so what's going to happen is this, I'm going to draw the arrows in green, this double bond here in the middle is going to attack this molecule at the positive end. Because uh, when you see a double bond, you must just know that that is an electron dense area because bonds are electrons that are bonded in pairs. So if you see a double bond, you know there's a lot of electrons around uh, this area here. And so those are gonna attack uh, this uh, positive hydrogen. And so what's gonna happen is it's gonna basically steal that hydrogen away from the bromine. And the bromine is gonna be left alone. And so you just draw another arrow to show this bond breaking. And so bromine is left alone. And so we can actually now draw the intermediate reaction. Now, when you guys are doing this for your exams, you don't need to draw the electrons that I've been doing in blue. Uh, you just need to draw the arrows that I've done in green and also just if you want to, you can show the positive and the negative poles. So now what I've got is I've got this intermediate uh, molecule where the bond is now broken and my H has been stolen. And let me draw that in green so that you can actually see the, one, the, the, the hydrogen that was stolen. Okay. Now what we've got is a single bond and a C and an H. H is here. I'm going to leave a little bit of space now because we know that that bromine is coming on to the molecule, but not just yet. We have to show the intermediate molecule. And so we're going to show now that this, because this, the electrons in the double bond are no longer surrounding this carbon. They've now joined the yellow uh, the, the, the other carbon where the yellow hydrogen is. We have this positive pole here. So we have this positive end. And so this bromine is naturally going to be drawn. This lone bromine, which was now negative, is naturally going to be now attracted to that positive carbon. And so we can draw that there. We can draw that arrow there. And now we can draw our final molecule, which is... Uh, our HBr coming in here. Okay, and we don't, uh, the colors are just for demonstration. I'm sure you can see where they are. Let me just, just in case you don't. Okay, so there's the final molecule. Uh, uses your, um, so it'll be ethane, so uh, bromoethane. And yeah, that's, that's going to be the final molecule. Now, I just want to show you, because it's not always this simple, sometimes it's not ethene. 
sometimes you have a double bonded molecule, the C H C H. And you might wonder where the bromine attaches. So if I've got this molecule here now, uh, we would have an H here and an H here. Now let's say I had this molecule, um, which is, okay, so this is butte. Um, so this would be a, two, a butte 2E, right? Butte 2E, because I've got the double bonded carbon. Uh, oh no, it's actually just gonna be butene because we're gonna count from the left. So it'll be one, two, three. Okay, so it's just butene. Uh, and so sometimes it's a question of where does the hydrogen go and where does the bromine go? So in other words, if I was to, now uh, draw the molecule again. Now I'm gonna draw it unsaturated. I'm not gonna draw the full mechanism because it's already quite a long video. Uh, if you do want that, just put a comment and say you'd like to see the whole thing and I will do another video. But hoping that with the first one you can understand it and then just see the difference of what's happening. So let's draw in our options, right? So you could have that or, or you could have that. Okay, now which one to decide? Because one of them is correct. So sometimes you might get uh, the, the, the less common one happening, but we talk about the major product being what's going to happen most of the time, because molecules don't always react um, the, the same way every time, but most of the time. So you can say with probability, you're going to get um, the bromine going on the uh, middle one. And the reason is there's a rule that when you have a hydrogen and you're deciding where to put it, the hydrogen is going to go onto the primary carbon. Okay, so let me just, if you don't know what, uh, pri uh, so primary carbon is a carbon that's attached to one other carbon. So this would be a primary carbon. A secondary carbon would be this carbon. So the, I'm going to do the, so the red would be a primary carbon. The blue that I'm doing here is a secondary carbon because it's attached to two carbons. Okay, and just for fun, a, a tertiary carbon is going to have three carbons attached. And so that would have then the third carbon here is an H. And so I'm going to do a tertiary car. Uh, yeah, tertiary carbon, primary, secondary, tertiary in green has three carbons. And last but not least, the uh, if you had a, a carbon which was attached to four, four carbons, that would be a quaternary carbon. So I'll do that in pink here. Okay, if you already know what carbons are, then this is for the people who don't, so just be patient. So this is a quaternary carbon. Okay, so when I talk about a primary carbon, I'm talking about the carbon on the far right, which only is attached to one um, other carbon. And so the H's, just remember this, this is a very important rule. The H is always going to attach to the primary carbon. And so it's going to go on to here. And so the bromine is going to go into the middle. So we're going to draw the same sort of thing where we have the H, but you're going to draw, so you're going to draw the H by the primary carbon, that'll be the intermediate step. 
And so you'll have the bromine by itself again. And then that bromine is then going to, because now the, the positive is going to be in the middle and the negative is going to be there and it's going to go onto here. I've been drawing the, my arrows in green like this. Okay, so the bromine is going to be in the middle. All right, so uh, if you are learning for uh, your A-level chemistry and you'd like more help, uh, just subscribe and you'll get notifications on when I post more videos. Um, please like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, support the channel and I will keep making videos.